oh yeah, I know this place so well that, I mean, I know where to find the wild strawberries in this bend of the stretch. Sometimes you just know a place by heart. River, I've swam in this river, you know, in this spot. Jay Moore knows this place with his whole heart. Every painting I do, I want to have like a, a reason for painting it, not just putting brush strokes down. Jay's painted the same river bend in Rocky Mountain National Park a lot over the years. A new chapter, you know, for Kawanichi Valley. After the East Troublesome Fire in October 2020, his color palette changed. You can see the fallen trees. You can see the, the burnt, you know, trees and how it just came through there really quickly. He still saw beauty. I want the focus to be, you know, positive. He also saw potential. It's to do just a small, token of appreciation. Now, Jay is painting this spot, his spot. This tree even represents, you know, part of the tragedy. To help first responders who saved lives and houses while losing their own homes to the nearly 200,000 acre fire. This painting I did to donate, you know, the proceeds to them. It won't change their life, but hopefully it'll be a little thank you. It doesn't look like it did before. To Jay, that's what's so inspiring. And it'll continue to, to flourish and come back slightly different. Through his brush, the place that gave him so many memories is now giving in a whole new way. It might look a little bit different, but everything's going to be okay. Ann Herbst, Nine News.